Welcome to the Village Antique and Home Decor Mall of Bristol. My name is Nikki Brock and this is Avenger Spotlight. Some of the best parts of life have to be those moments where you are doing exactly what you love with your best friend. For almost 40 years, Linda and Ronnie have been doing just that. Working side by side, creating a life they love together. I hope you enjoyed this Vendor Spotlight. and I, we have dabbled in arts and crafts, uh, bazaars, uh, craft shows for probably over 35 years. Uh, he builds these farm tables and we usually have farm tables and islands and then I sort of take it from there and I just decorate and add to. We do custom orders for our tables and islands uh, to your specifications, colors, and finishes. We lived in North Carolina and South Carolina, so we did, you know, bazaars there. Uh, my parents, they did craft shows throughout their life, and so I would travel along with my mom and, and help her do arts and crafts. She did lots of crochet and needlepoint and and, you know, but we, my husband and I, we've done like the woodworking, the, the painting and uh, shelves and pictures and those kinds of things. We really like farmhouse style. He can build most anything. I'm retired. Uh, I taught kindergarten for over 30 years. And uh, this helps with my creativity. I just love what I do. We've been retired for about six years. Uh, well, right now with this year, this has just about consumed us. I mean, having to stay home and, you know, social distancing and being careful about where we are going. Uh, my husband's in the, the wood shop and he's building and, uh, and me, I'm in the house just cleaning house or decorating or thinking of things to do. <laughs> uh, that I can bring out here and maybe someone will see and enjoy and, you know, take home and put in their home. Oh, we're a team. I come up with these crazy ideas <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I try to relay that to him and uh, he just kind of shakes his head like, okay, uh, I'll try to make that for you or help you. and. Uh, I, I guess I, he sees my visions and uh, he helps me and, uh, and I think we just complement one another. I just love what I do and I do what I love. I think first of all, you have to look at yourself and you have to think, okay, you know, what's my situation today? And how can I improve that situation? And it is all about choices and how you perceive your life. And I think you can have a pity party for yourself and say, oh, poor pitiful me. Or you can do something about it. You can say, okay, I may not have the best job, but I've got good skills. I can improve on those skills. I may not have the best home, but I can make this home the best it can be. Uh, and I, I think uh, just surrounding yourself with family and friends and, uh, and just believing in yourself. And I, I tell people this about teaching and what I did. I taught for over 38 years. I loved teaching kindergarten. The day I walked out the door, I could say I still loved teaching kindergarten. Not many people can say that about their jobs. They're just there for a paycheck. I never was. And that's like why we do this. We're not here for the paycheck. Oh yeah, that's a little added bonus, but that's not why I do this. I do this because it gives me joy. You see, when you teach, and uh, I was a very hands-on creative teacher. And so when I left teaching, um, I didn't lose that, but you know, maybe it just slowed down a little bit. And now I think, hey, I've got it back. 